We continue inside the unnamed studios here in downtown Guthrie. Phil Nichols, Chris Evans with you. Here to discuss Mike Gundy and the Oklahoma State Cowboys. A lot of news coming out of Stillwater. A lot of cha-ching coming out of Stillwater. As uh, Oklahoma State, uh, well, the, the football program, financial commitment was approved of $41.2 million dollars in renovations of Boone Pickens Stadium. They're going to add seats? Uh, they're going to be more comfortable. Ooh. I'll get to the details in a second. That also, also financial news came out of, out of Stillwater, that Mike Gundy is now the highest paid coach in the Big 12. Yeah. He's going to get $7.5 million a year. That's a million uh, on top of his salary that he had. That begins in the 22 season. And also a million after so many years, yeah. keeps staying on yeah. and all that good stuff. You get some retirement stuff. You get some. It's a whole package. Yeah. But uh, some of the news uh, as far as the forty-one point two million dollar renovation project for Boone Pickens Stadium, a uh, new surface, a uh, new turf for the outdoor practice that the, the team mm -hmm. practiced on at the Sherman Training Center, uh, and then also the portion of the project will cost one point two million uh, to be completed this summer. Uh, let's see here. Da -da. OSU will begin following the 22 season on the project, approximately 40 million to the structure of Boone Pickens. Renovations to the seating bowl include added leg room, mm. more comfortable seating for fans in large areas of the stadium, more aisles in the 200 and 300 levels to allow for better fan access, yeah. other cosmetic improvements. The updates are expected to cause a slight decrease to the stadium capacity, which is currently 55,500. A slight decrease. Slight decrease. That, that really won't hurt because there's always a few seats available. Yeah, I, so that I, won't hurt. Totally be agree. all right. Yeah, and I, I got to tell you, I went to the OU Nebraska game this year, and it's I hadn't been to an OU game in years. I can't remember the last time it was, and I was reminded why I watch a lot of games on TV now. Oh, yeah, uh, besides right. traffic, traffic being the number one deal, yeah. and you have to get there hours early and yeah. you can take it yeah. all in to do it the Trying right way. Trying to get home, the all that good thing, stuff. Yeah. But I, you know, Norman, it's it's sold out, and they got you jam packed. The seats to the side are, are tight but the one that was really uncomfortable right in, in north in norman is right in front of you yeah it's terrible and i'm all i'm all trying to have better posture but man it, it just gets uncomfortable with a three three and a half four hour football game it does it does i think that's good for osu i think that they've earned it i mean they you know they had a one of their greatest years in program history last year and a big bowl win over notre dame huge and, just a lot of good things going on. So, you know, I think it's good overall. I think Gundy's pay raise, you know, he gets that money back he lost a couple years ago. COVID. Um, COVID time. And, well, he lost it over wearing a T-shirt, but, right. but, but during the COVID time. And so gets that money back, which I think he should. Um, so, you know, overall, I mean, it's a mix of matter. You look at social media, some people think Gundy needs to go. I think more people think Gundy needs to stay. Um, you know, I mean, you can argue both sides. Gundy's got the winning, this, the greatest winning percentage in the history of school program are right there. He's won well in excess of 100 games for OSU. I mean, well in excess of 100 games. Yeah. I mean, you know, so he's done it on the field. Now, then there's the other camp, which to be quite honest, I've fallen into for a while to where I'm going, well, yeah, he's a great coach if you want to finish second or third in the Big 12 every year. I mean, if you're wanting to win, an, but point is, is who are we going to get that's going to do a better job than Coach Gundy? I don't know that you can get anybody. Well, how about some better. of these names that have never won a national championship? Right. Bo Schemberger, yeah. Sam Beckler, Frank Beamer, Bill Snyder, Chris yeah. Peterson, Chris Fronts, uh, Brian Kelly, Mike Riley. Yeah, a bunch of Hall of Famers in yeah. there. Yeah, a bunch of Hall of Famers in there. So, you know, it's, you know, averaging, what, 10 wins a game, basic, or 10 wins a season, basically, during his career, 9 or 10 games. That's pretty good considering when Mike. I'm getting, oh, there we go. Yeah. Last 17 years, a 68% winning percentage. Yep. Uh, bowl record 11 and 5. Which is strong. And I think they've gone to the bowl game every year underneath him. So. Except for one. Except for one. Okay. Yep. Except for one. I, I know it's up there, but, uh, you know, I, I think Mike Gundy has done a, a great job. Yeah. Now, one thing, there's always going to be something. It's not the perfect yet. Yeah, right. He's done a perfect job, but I really think outside of not recruiting, the going after the top kids. Yeah. Make them tell you no, yeah. but that's the only thing I was like, well, if you would maybe go get, go get, go, go, go try, try to get some of those. Don't kids. just yeah. settle because well, yeah. we're in Stillwater. We're, we're not going to get them. We're not, you know, yeah. we're, we can get a three star from Texas, but we're not going to get a five star from. Well, maybe, maybe tell them, you know. I mean, if, if I'm sure they send them the paperwork and all that good stuff. Yeah, but are they right? I think that's been the big the big hook is are they really putting the effort? Now I understand the other side 
we're going to spend our time and energy. Waste our time on that. Yeah, why would we do yeah. that and waste the resource? Yeah. I mean, so you know, you can make an argument for either side, but I think overall, it's a it's a deserved raise by Coach Gundy, um, based on what he's done on the field. Yeah. Um, I think the school doing the improvements and that's a lot of that because a lot of that stuff's just maintenance. I mean, you're going to need to change out the turf. You're going to sure. need to do all those kind of things. But have you been to a game at OSU, Moon Pickens? Oh, yeah. yeah. Like at a college game? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Recently? Uh, OSU, Texas, probably four years ago. Okay. Yeah. So it, it, you are packed in there. Yes. So I think these these changes will be I've good for the fans. I've been in the press box, but not. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we did some state championship yeah. games there over the past. But, but I think just, you know, if you spend any time in those seats, they could stand to be a little more comfortable. Yeah. So. And I think that's probably a lot of it because it's all about – Get yeah, many people in there, but yeah. if you're not selling completely out, that's not you know it's just it's not a slam. It's, it's not a slam. It's just but if you can make it, it oh, I, oh, you've done the same thing. I think it might have been last year or this coming year. They've uh, they've lost some seating because yeah. they're trying yeah. to trying to accommodate. accommodate. Now they're also building up the other side right now, right? Is an OU building up the other side? No seats, no. No, I'm, they're not. Do oh, in the past, I'm thinking of UCO is doing okay. the whole other yes, side. I'm UCO, sorry, yes. my brain went there, but yeah, but I, I just think there's. I think it's well deserved, and you know, and, and I think what this really does is it guarantees for those of you that are huge Mike Gundy fans. I think it guarantees that he will be the coach until he's ready to retire. Yeah. Now he's probably done some things that is like uh, really Mike, you know, oh, the well, flirting with him. We, we've know, talked. We've about all. We've, we've all, talked about. Yeah. It. I mean, ripping his shirt off at the press conference at the boot at the pep rally, talking about the press. I'd rather be out snaking, you know, hunting for for rattlesnakes. Yeah. You know? I mean. Yeah, like, come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know? but, like, but, so, but also think that's just kind of who he is, who he is. too. Yeah, so there's yeah, nothing wrong yeah. with that. He's at least he's not being fake, right? right so right, yeah, it's all good. I think it's I think it's I think it's it's amazing. Uh, Oklahoma State spending 7.5 million for a football coach. And, yeah, uh, that's more than Brent Venables. I think. What's Venables? Five million, five and a half. I think he came at seven million. Did he come in at seven? I think so. Or I think I it's thought it was less than that. I thought his total package was seven million a year. Well, I think that's. Is that the same with Gundy? I think that's right. Okay, I so it's not right. salary because I think it's salary. Well, because right. there's like a base and it's this, yeah. the base is yeah, like yeah, yeah, three hundred fifty thousand. Okay. By the time okay. you add by the time all, you add all the stuff. Yeah, okay. it's uh, okay. up that. Bit. Just a little less than what you're making. Just under. So yeah. you're 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 good with it. I'm good with it. Yeah, well, I'm good with it. I did. I mean, I don't like make any fun. Well, no, I, I would rather have a coach that now let's say this. We've had our chances to play for national title games. We were right there last year. If, if they if they get in at the end, if we don't have beat up running backs and beat up offensive linemen and, you know, and all these problems in the Big 12 game, they played for a national title last year. They would have played for one. I think everybody agrees with that. If Was they it win 2011 that the Iowa State? 2011, I mean, you know, most definitely would have been there if they didn't have the deal to Iowa State. But so they've been close. So, you know, you don't know. It's not like they're miles away from competing for a national title. And perennial top 15 program. The thing that I'll be interested with Oklahoma State is when OU and Texas go over to the SEC, which yeah. I think it will be a, a, I think it'll be a disaster. It'll be a daunting task yeah. for them, but yeah. uh, there will be a learning curve. So will OSU be able to have that top spot? Will they be able to consistently be in that top spot? Well, they're not getting – they're getting – I mean, Cincinnati knows how to play football. Right, right. In the playoffs last BYU. year. BYU. BYU knows how to play football. Iowa State has has had years. Central Florida knows how to play football. Mm -hmm. So it's not like they're bringing in the little weak kids, you right. know, to play. I mean, they're bringing in some really good football. But can OSU so. do what OU's been? Not necessarily winning six in a row, or you, you, I think they can win it, two in a row. But I think it's going to be OSU and Baylor at the beginning. At, yeah, I think they're going to be the ones that are going to rise to the top quicker. Some people would argue Iowa State. I think Iowa State had a good run, had some good players. They're still bringing good kids in. But, you know, they were a complete and utter disappointment this year. I mean, they had all those guys back and finished below 500, I believe, on the year after the bowl loss. But, you know, and you could argue, you know, sometimes TCU's there, sometimes. And, of course, you know, so, but, I, but I think, I think it's going to be OU, OSU and Baylor that are going to immediately pay dividends once OU and Texas goes on. Now, <laughs> Excuse me. Texas hasn't been a factor the last several years anyway. Right, right, right. We always talk about Texas like they're this dominant program, and I know they have won a lot of football games. But over the last several years in the Big 12, they've not – I mean, OSU's had their way with Texas. Absolutely. So Home and away. Home and away. So it's not like it's some shocker if they keep beating Texas. Yeah. So it'll be interesting how it plays out. But I think at the end of the day, a well-deserved raise for Coach Gundy. 
and great they're investing that kind of money. I mean, that's, let's, let's put this in perspective. It's only $5 million more than Union High School is putting in their stadium. Union and renovated theirs are at 33 million. So 7 million. 7 million. <laughs> eight. So 8 million. Okay, 8 million. 8.2. 8.2 million. So, so it's 8.2 million dollars more than a high school is investing in their stadium. So it's really not in the grand scheme of things yeah. that big of a deal. Tuttle's getting 18 million for their future football field. So I mean, we're, we've invested like a grand down here. Yeah, in yeah, yeah. It, we we got new a new line maker thing. We can't even get it. Well, it's new to us. New not to us. new. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, of course, you can't mention OSU and all the OU all the I, I put on my timeline. Of course, OU fans going there. Oh, we want to have him uh, forever because his record against OU is not that good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In fact, it's poor. It's, no, it's terrible. Yeah. It's yeah. Very. It's bad. terrible. But very bad. but but. Um, you know, it, you can't also judge a coach's success or failure on one, one game. Yeah. I although mean, it's the although it means that's what everybody talks to. Yeah, yeah. No, it's what everybody worries about if they're especially if you're an OU alum, OSU alum. That's the game that matters the most, as it should. Sure. As it should. But I think you're going to see a a, a, t a turnaround a little bit. Final question here. I mean, hell, he ran he ran Lincoln Riley out of town, according to Lincoln he, last year. He took the dark dark plane out. Well, yeah, I mean, Lincoln yeah. after that defeat caught him in a weak moment and left to go to USC. Yeah, Mike Gundy kicked uh, Riley out. Mike Gundy ran Lincoln Riley out of Oklahoma. Wow, so, uh, that's a new take, isn't it? That is a new yeah. take. Uh, final question. I had it, and I, now I completely lost what I was going to ask you. I'm, I'm a was, Leo. I'm a Leo. It was it was really, really good. Let's see here. <laughs> Mike Gundy. Well, once you ask the question, we'll decide if it was good. Man. No? I hate to end the way, but I can't you think, can't of, think it of it. You can't think of it? You're going to think of it the second we sign off. Uh, Mike Gundy. Yeah. Uh, OU. OU. OSU. Who's going to win the Big 12? Big 12. Who's going to be the team? Uh, threw me off. Oh, boy. This happens a lot more than you people think. <sighs> Although, I'll edit this out. They'll never see this yeah, part. Teleprompter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. I can't think of it. Uh, dead going it. it there was, you go. It was really good. Okay. All right. We're going to get out of here. Phil Nichols, Chris Evans. So long.